All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out four to the power of x. So now I have four to the power of x times one plus one plus one plus one is equal to one. Now, if I simplify what's in the parentheses here, I get four. So now I have four to the power of x times four is equal to one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply these two. So four here, this is the same thing as four to the power of one. If I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, four to the power of x times four to the power of one, that's gonna equal four to the power of x plus one. And this is equal to one. So now one here, this is the same thing as four to the power of zero. So now I have four to the power of x plus one is equal to four to the power of zero. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus one here is equal to zero. meaning x is equal to negative one. Now, another method we could have done here is, as you see here, we have four to the power of x time, or right here, we have four to the power of x times four is equal to one. So what we could have done instead here is divide both sides by four. So now I have four to the power of x is equal to one fourth, which is the same thing as four to the power of negative one. So now remember if something is in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, that means that this is equal to this, meaning x is equal to negative one. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x minus two to the power of y is equal to 120. So just looking at this problem, we can see that x is gonna be greater than y. And this is because if x were less than y, then this would result in this here equaling a negative number. But because x is greater than y, this is why it's gonna equal a positive number. Meaning if x is greater than y, then x is gonna equal y plus some number k. So k is a constant. So now if I go ahead and replace x with y plus k, I get two to the power of y plus k minus two to the power of y is equal to 120. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So two to the power of y plus k, and we write that as two to the power of y times two to the power of k. Now I have this minus two to the power of y is equal to 120. Now if I factor out two to the power of y, I get two to the power of y times two to the power of k minus one is equal to 120. So now this gives me two equations. I have two to the power of, or sorry, before that actually, 120, I can go ahead and rewrite as eight times 15. So now, as you see, this is gonna give me two equations. We can think of two to the power of y as eight, 
and 2 to the power of k minus 1 as 15. Because 2 to the power of y, this is going to be an even number, right? 2 to the power of any number is an even number. And 2 to the power of k minus 1, well, 2 to the power of k, that's an even number, and an even number minus 1, that's going to be an odd number. So notice how this is in the form a number times a number is equal to number times a number, meaning this number is going to equal this number, and this number is equal to this number. So now I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 8, and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 15. So for 2 to the power of y equals 8, y is going to equal 3, because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So that's our solution for y. And for 2 to the power of k minus 1, add 1 on both sides. I get 2 to the power of k is equal to 16, meaning k is 4. So now that we have our value for y and k, remember x is equal to k plus y, meaning x equals 4 plus 3, which is 7. So these are my solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x minus 1 to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of 4 minus x minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x squared to the power of 2. And x minus 1 to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x minus 1 squared to the power of 2. So now this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is x minus 1 squared. So now I have x squared plus x minus 1 squared times x squared minus x minus 1 squared. This is equal to 0. Now, x minus 1 squared, let's go ahead and expand that. That's going to equal x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I have x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 times x squared minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. Because remember, you've got to distribute the negative sign. And this is equal to 0. So now, let's go ahead and simplify this. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. So I have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 times x squared x squared cancel out. So just 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And I have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So for 2x minus 1 equals 0, x is simply equal to 1 half. That's a simple equation. And now for 2x squared minus 2x plus 1, we're going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b. So negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 1. And all of this over 2a, so 2 times 2, which is 4. And now this is the same thing as positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 is negative 4 over 4. And as you can see, we have the square root of a negative number, which we can't do. So my only solution here is x equals 1 half. So x equals 1 half is my answer.